excited today because I am finally setting up slash storing my Enhypen Sangun collection. As you can see, I have a few cards for him. Um, <laughs> I really started collecting Sangun back in Manifesto Day 1 era and he used to have a binder but I had to repurpose that binder for my 80s Young collection. He's one of my alt biases I love Enhypen so much. I think their music is incredible. I think his cards are really cute. Sometimes, sometimes they're a bit plain. I have an almost complete album for a card collection up to Manifesto Day 1. I haven't really touched Dark Blood or Orange Blood yet. I really need to catch up on those. I also have a pretty complete Japanese collection. I have random merch stuff. So I have quite a lot of cards to put away. I've got them sorted into little piles here. So this is like my pre-order benefit, lucky draw kind of non-album stuff. This here is my amalgamation of Japanese cards that I already have organised. And then this is the album photo card pile. Up to Manifesto Day 1, I think I'm only missing two or three cards. He just doesn't deserve to be living in a pot in my bedside table. Um, so I'm putting him into this A5 binder today. This I got on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's a ripoff or something. I'm like so sorry, but you know, needs must. It's like a little competition one. It is sort of giving mould. But it was the cutest colour option they had. I'm going to try and use the pages that came with them. I'm going to hope that my sleeves fit in. I think they will. And it also came with one of the glittery cover things. So I'm just going to decorate it now with this and the strap. I'll throw some pages in and then we can literally just get started straight away storing cards. <laughs> What's really amusing, and the reason why you don't buy knockoff things off Amazon, is the fact that the holes don't line up for the, um, like, the little plastic cover thing. I mean, it's probably not going to stay on forever because I actually think it's quite vile. But, um, yeah, they don't line up, so I can't get the string in. There you go. That's what happens when you buy cheap knockoffs on Amazon. Okay, I don't know how many pages I've just plonked in here. I've plonked in however many... Um, it came with. I'm going to start with album cards obviously. I have them already organised in order with like the fillers in between just to speed up the process. I'm really out of breath for some reason. That was a really laborious process. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do, because there's only six cards for border day one, I'm probably going to do like a little double page, double page situation of like one, two, three, one, two, three which means that this front cover page is probably going to end up being some of my favourite merch cards I own. I own this one, for example, which is the anniversary like 2021 merch card. It's so freaking cute. And then I might also shove like... Some of these are so adorable as well. I think this, this one, like this random season's greetings one is so adorable as well. So I'll come back to that in a little bit. But for now... I'm just going to start with the album cards. Starting with Border Day 1, we have Apple Hoon. I know that, like, a lot of people really struggle with Enhypen, especially Sangoon. And, you know, he does have his cards that are, like, really ridiculously hard to find. I got quite lucky. I found someone on Instagram who was selling, like, their entire collection. And they had in there the Apple one and the Cheek Poke card. So that was really fortunate for me. That's in a different sleeve to the rest of them. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Okay, I swapped sleeves because it was annoying me. When people do that, when they sell like a mass amount of cards, but they include like really random ones no one wants and they include really coveted ones like Apple and whatever, a lot of the time it's like obvious that they're doing it because they know that people want to buy the Apple card and they want the cheek poke card. Um, luckily for me, I had no Sunkoons, so it worked out well. <laughs> But it's really annoying when people do those kinds of listings because it's obviously going to work. Someone's going to want to buy it, but they're going to end up with a bunch of random other member stuff that they didn't really want. Cool. So that's that. I'm going to just put these. Are they going to fit in there? Ooh. Ooh, I don't think they're going to fit, are they? Okay. Um, that went well. My white sleeves don't fit. I'll, I think I have smaller ones somewhere. I'll have a look. Next, we're moving into Border Carnival, which I have two, three, four, five of the six cards again. 
Is there only six cards? Oh, hold on. I forgot about the lenticulars. And then also these are pre-order cards. I don't know why they're in this section. I think I might do what I just did this time around and do another little three, three situation. I feel like I should talk more about an hyphen. So like I got into an hyphen properly around Manifesto Day One era. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I was swayed by Mr. Blonde Hair. <laughs> His blonde hair just did something to me on like a spiritual level and I don't regret it. But the music, their music has always been so good. I think that their debut is one of the best debuts in like K-pop history, which isn't an unpopular opinion, I know. So I don't know why I'm saying it as if it is, but it is, it's just so good. It has no right being as good as it is, to be honest. Coolio. That's that one. Then we have the last ones of which I've just realised my filler isn't going to fit in the page. <laughs> we'll go back up this one. Just look in the corners. That's the wrong one. And then that needs to go there, but that's not going to fit in, is it? No. Right, I'm just going to... It says male. It's not on the way. That's a lie. I did that a while ago. It's not on the way. And then I don't know what to do about all this because these are just a couple of pre-order cards and I don't actually have any more pre-orders for this one, do I? Oh, I do. I don't want to answer. Oh, actually, ignore me. I do have three more that I can put in. I guess I'll just continue as before then and we'll go like selfie there. concept there I guess I think these are like shoppy and like easy or something my friend literally sent them to me as a gift I, I can't tell you what they are or why they are there next we have this situation dimension dilemma so these are the special ones obviously and the one I don't have and then there's again there's six I was gonna go like that needs to change sleeve like that because and then the hollows at the bottom and then these can go at the end because i don't have the other one and honest to god i haven't really even considered getting it yet what if i do it like this instead so we like alternate it and then if you swap around I think that sparks a tiny bit more joy. The ones that are in the good sleeves can go in. The ones that are in the bad sleeves cannot go in. You're fine. Oh my god, none of them are in the correct sleeves. I wanted this to be like a really simple video to edit. I wanted to literally just have to like cut out a couple of awkward pauses. Instead, I'm going to have to cut out so much sleeving. That one's done. Why didn't I put that one in? Again, I know the cheek poke cards are the ones that everyone wants and are really hard to find. I got lucky once again. That big listing I bought from someone, I think they were all in there. Which is how I navigated getting the elusive cards. I think for Apple Hoon. I traded something for him and then it, it got lost in the post. It was the weirdest trade ever, actually. Like, someone had a bunch of cards up that I was interested in. And I offered one of my old BTS V, like, I think I offered them Fifth Master for a bunch of stuff. And they were like... I'll think about it and I was like cool and then they messaged me again the next day and were like I thought about it and I want to do the trade great let's go for it I only do stamped mail okay whatever um that's fine do what you want I have no qualms I should have had qualms and then I posted she apparently posted and then both of our things got lost in the mail which I don't know if that's suspicious or not like I don't know if hers actually arrived and it and she was like I don't know because she was then trading other things and being like she was like trading my card but saying this is a dupe I have another one on the way and I was like okay so is mine the dupe or what I don't really know right next we're moving into manifesto day one which is complete and how many are there again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh there's twelve okay I'm just gonna do a 
I'm just going to do like a, I'm not going to bother with any fancy layouts this time. Oh my god. I pulled so much Sangoon in my Manifesto Day 1 albums. Why did my voice go like Marge Simpson? I completed almost his entire set, just like, um, with my own albums. I had to, I barely had to trade. I pulled that, I pulled that one, I pulled both of these, I pulled this card. I pulled, I think I pulled almost his entire concept set, which was mad. But I was really happy with it. Can't complain. Didn't complain. Oh, bollocks. This specific, like, Sungoon was the one that had me. It's the one that got me. Um, didn't take much to win me over, but the blonde hair is just so good on him. And then I got into watching all the NO clocks that were released around this time, and, like, the barista one proper did me in. Like, proper did me in. Um, it, I was swooned. He was swoony. He, he won me over so easy on that one. His cars are just so good for this era. I don't understand what it is but they're so good i don't know why i haven't made much progress on the other eras i just kind of didn't have time next we're moving into japanese stuff i guess so for japanese i have his solo jacket stuff for the earlier releases and then i have like everything for sadame there's obviously four for everything pre-sadame then there's eight for sadame so i might do something like this these are like a bunch of Lucky Draws and pre-order things. Um, so I'll do pre-Sadame this page and then the eight on the next page over. Is everyone in the correct sleeves? No. This is painful. That's what this is, it's painful. I know that these solo jacket ones are really hard to find as well these days. I don't know where I got them. I think I got them on Kara Japan. Just randomly for like a good price. Which was really fortunate for me. There we go. I would like to get more Songyun stuff in terms of pre-orders and benefit things, but there's just so many and they're so expensive. Because I'm so intense about my TXT collection, I try to be really like calm about other ones, which works in theory. I normally just go really hard on my first kind of cycle like this. I completed this in a matter of weeks, a month max. And then after that, I haven't really touched it since i've bought their albums i just haven't like sought out trades and stuff because trading for some game can be a bit of a nightmare but it's like i completed all of this stuff so quickly that's in the wrong sleeve it took me like a good day and a half i guess to get all my buy requests in on buy -E. i think i did it on buy -E, not new okay did it on buy -E, and it was like a seamless process again as with all Japanese releases for like every single group, I can't tell you anything about what they all are. Because <laughs> there's so many versions. I do like how they did this release. I love these cards with his fluffy hair. There we go. Now we're moving into like pre-ordery bits and bobs. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, 13. And that's really annoying. Um, I'm gonna go against the grain here and I'm gonna switch around the orders because this is like an eight pocket spread of manifesto stuff. So I'm just gonna shove the manifesto stuff in here and then I'll go back into previous eras. I'm not super fussed about everything being in chronological order. Also this lucky drawer. I, think I, wanna marry you. I needed it in my life. I remember vividly where I was when I bought half of these cards. I think I was on a mountain when I bought that listing. I also love these ones. These manifesto pre-orders are so good. That one also. Oh, they're all amazing. I think I was on a mountain. I was on a holiday, like on like a, on a hiking holiday. And I was like at a rest stop. And then I just was like on Bayi. And then I saw them and was like, well, sort of guess I absolutely need it. Oh, I'm lying. That's the Weverse version. That's not an album. That's not a pre-order. That's the Weverse version, but I don't have the other one. This is the Target exclusive, which someone traded me for like a Taehyung album card because I was trading off my Taehyung stuff. And they were like, yeah, man, I'll trade this. And I was like, OK, cool. Um, what I'm going to do here, I guess, is put these two up top. This is Yuzi Yu, a random Yuzi Yu set for answer, I think. 
and then go in. I have the three lucky draws from Dimension Dilemma. I'm going to put my two favourites, which are those two. That one can find a home and when I get other crew and stuff in. I'm very sorry to this man. And then this one. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm not super fussed about things being in chronological order. For my mini collections and my A5s, I'm more of a vibes person. So, for merchy stuff, I have this random collection. I have 17. I need four to put at the front. You're going, you're going. You're like a set, I guess, because you're the birthday merch. And then I think you and you are the chosen ones. How do I want to do this? One, two, three, four, five. There's only five? Of six. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna see what I can do. I love this birthday merch. I bought the bracelet as well. Oh, that's where it is. There is six. He lives on my shelf in this really cute top loader. That is why I am missing one of them. Yeah, he's not going in. He's staying on my shelf. Like you. It's just like the cutest concept ever, honestly. No. I don't know who did it, but it's so adorable. These three are just gonna go in here because they fit. I can't tell you what they are. Some of it is anniversary merchandise, I think. That's not gonna fit in there. Some of it's anniversary merch. I joined some group orders for it. Notepad and like ID set or something. This is where I sort of stopped buying his merchy things because they were all becoming very similar. And it's not that I'm against similar looking cards, but for like non-ultimate ultimate collections, I'm not gonna buy everything if it all looks the same. You know what I mean? Like if it was Taehyun, obviously I would get everything because I've discussed my insane behaviors with him in the past. But like other collections, they don't necessarily get the same. A list five star treatment. I guess these two can just live on the back by themselves, which is quite sad. But like, I've got nowhere else for them to live at the minute. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. I forgot about an entire page of cards. Bear with one sec. I have his icon stuff. Um, from his mini icon. So I guess they can also go in here, and then this will complete the pages. That I have. These are the like special PVC and lenty ones you get, you got with the mini D icons. And then, yeah. Oh, I need to go back to the front. I'm going to just take out these extra pages at the back, back to the front, and just to plop in these. So. What's crazy to me is this binder already feels really full. I thought that an A5 would be okay for him. I don't think he had that much. Clearly I was wrong. And yeah, I guess I can just do a quick little flip through. So we've got this fun merch page of my four favorites, starting with his album cards. So we've got Border Day One, Border Carnival, I think is this one. I mentioned I, I don't know the versions. <laughs> it's been a while. We have all my album stuff. Into Dimension Answer and Manifesto Day One here. Then we move into Japanese stuff. So we have his pre Sadame solo jackets, Sadame special, Sadame standard stuff, um, Manifesto, pre order benefits, lucky drawers. I don't think there's a single lucky. No, there is lucky drawers stuff. Um, other album pre-order things into merchandise, so we have birthday merch, random merch, I think that was concert merch, Google package, seasons greetings things, and then the icon stuff here. If you have any of the cards that I'm missing and you're interested in trading, please check my Instagram, I have a bunch of cards up for trade pretty much all the time. Um, I would love to complete him because he is one of my favourite K-pop biases ever. And it would be great to have his collection done ASAP. And yeah, that essentially concludes my setting up and storing my Sunkin collection. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching. I've really enjoyed doing it with you. 
I'm so happy he finally has a home of his own. He's been needing one for a very long time. And yeah, I will see you very soon, hopefully. I always say this at the end of my videos. I'll see you soon, hopefully, for a storing photo cards video. But um, I haven't filmed that yet or stored them. So I'll hopefully do that soon. I'll see you when I see you. Thank you for watching. Bye.